Hey everybody, how are you? This is Alexander Young, or Coach Alexander Young. We're about ready to begin our foam roller workout or mobility. I want you to remember, take your shoes off, get nice and relaxed. It's a very easy movement, and it's a series of movements that are similar. I'm just going to begin differently and add a few more things. Once you take yourself nice and comfortable, I'm going to start my timer, I'm going to start my music, and we're just going to start to breathe with the foam roller. Let me start my timer. Okay. I have my foam roller right here. We're going to bring it right up in the front. We want to inhale up, pulling the arms back, exhale down. Good. Inhale. I don't want to think of my thumbs going to the back of the room as I come forward. Good. Exhale down. Inhale. Now remember, it's an exploration of your movement. So I may want to just consistently bring it up. Stretch back, reach forward and bring it down. Let me turn laterally so you can see it go up. And I reach out and away from my body. I take it up. I take it out and away from my body. We're going to go into it a little deeper in a few seconds. But right now, just simply inhale. Good. And breathe out. Let's do that again. Inhale. So that's our sounder. I hear it. You may not hear it. Let's lean back a little bit. And come forward. Stretch those arms down. Let's lean back again. And press those arms right in front of us. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Beautiful. Let's take it up again. Inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Let's inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Super excited to do this class with you. It's a fun thing because I'm doing this class in the comfort of my own space my living room, and I hope you find a comfortable space for yourself to do it. Our next thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to the floor. So everybody bring your foam roller up in the air, up in the air, good. We're going to go down and go down to the floor gently. We're going to come back up, inhale, good, and reach out down to the floor. Come back up strong. Good. Press down to the floor. And come back up again. Had to turn the volume down. That music was just a little too loud. Good. Back. Reach down to the floor. Come back up. Inhale. Now remember, guys, going forward, be careful of that lower back. Good. Come back up. Our second segment. Let me turn sideways so you can see I'm going down. Pressing the hips back, hinging, and come back up. Remember to modify. I did say this in the beginning of the workout, and I know you're in the middle of the workout. And you go, wow, why did you say that sooner? But I always encourage people to watch the video all the way through. And then you know the movements and you know yourself. Some of you may be doing this bright early in the morning. Some of you may be doing this in the evening. So make sure you take your time. More than any emphasis in the movement is the breathing. Last one up, last one down. Good, last down. And come back up. Stretch up, good, bring the arms down. Now from here, what I love to do is our kayak arms, which is just almost like a swimming. And what this is, I want you to make sure you think of flow. I think you, you want to make sure that the arm is going one on top, making the right arm on top, pushing the left arm down. So both hands are active. I am not pressing into the foam roller with all my might. I'm taking and taking big arms forward, almost like swimming arms. Of course, we would never swim like this. Good. And we would never have a foam roller in the water trying to do it as well. So that would be even more awkward. Good. Excellent. Good. And let's do one more right side down, one more left side down. Beautiful. Take the foam roller down to your legs. Let's lift it up. Let's take a big step forward. Let's rotate. Good. Bring it back. And let's alternate. A nice, easy step forward, rotate, and bring it back down. It's my nice little break up. Good. Let's do that again. And bring it back down. Let's switch to the other side. Got it and bring it back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale to come back. Take it up, 
Rotate those shoulders. Now, you may notice that my eyes never go off the screen. One more to your one side. Finish up one more each side. Good. And I'm going to allow you to do one more the other side. Good. Excellent. So now here comes a nice little challenging one. We're going to do reverse kayak. So we're going to take the arm up, pull it back. Good. Now the side back. Just take lift that right hand, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. Right hand up, pull it back. Left hand up, pull it back. That's it. Nice. Keep the neck neutral, guys. Try not to stiffen up the neck. Good. And I'm trying to add breathing. Now, there's no rhythm, rhyme, or reason for the breathing pattern. So don't think you need a breathing pattern. All right now I need you to do is just breathe. Inhale. And then breathe out. Take some air into your body. Then press that air out of your body. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more each side. One and one. Now this is a unique movement. It actually helps to loosen up those shoulders. I'm going to have the foam roller down. I'm going to reach the right hand all the way over to the left. Lift the left arm up and add a little rotation. I do this often so my movements are a little bit more easier. What I need you all to do is to try your best. Okay, if you feel something uncomfortable, stop. If you feel pain, stop, okay? But if you're feeling a little bit of a challenge, I like challenge, I don't like those two other elements of pain or discomfort. Although of the two, discomfort is the mildest. Good, over. And now, what I want you to do is kind of reach your body over to the other side and come back up. Reach your body over. Come back up. Reach your body over. Come back up. Reach your body to the other side. Come back up. Do it again. Nice. Come back up. Body over. And come back up. Body over. And come back up. Let's do that again. Good, one more this way, finish it up, and one more the other way. Good, excellent, good. Now I want you to take the foam roller, cradle it in your arms, open up hands, so I'm not closed fist, hands are open. We're gonna keep our body up and we're just going to rotate at the waist, right side and left side. Great job. And left side, right side and left side. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Let's go all the way over to one side and all the way over to the other side. Great job. Let's do one more each side because I got a nice little add on and one. Good job. Let's hold it up and stop. Good. Now we're going to take this tip and we're going to push it down while we lift the other side up. Good. And you notice that as you're going down the one side, your hip is going to the opposite side. Good, nice and gentle. Good. So I'm all about the shoulders and the hips with the foam roller. And the foam roller is just a, an, an, a tool to help us to be able to manipulate our body and move a little bit more safely and soundly. You'll see when we do those things on the floor, you're gonna go, oh, I'm glad I have that because it's gonna help me with balance. Great job, one, good. One more to this side and finish up the other side. Good, excellent. We're gonna take this foam roller, nice wide stand. Think about this side and this side coming to the inner part of our leg with a squat. So let's sit down, rotate it. 
come back up, sit down, rotate to the other side. Good. And let me turn to the side so you guys can keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to look up and see what it looks like sideways. And I am creating a squat and back up and then tilting in. So we're doing, when we do this, we did an external rotation. This is internal rotation. And I'm going to go through another full round. Gently turn in, and I am driving the tip of the foam roller and my shoulder into that opposite side of my body. And then coming back up. And then come back up, good. And come all the way back up, let's do that again. And back up, breathe, breathe, breathe. side. Good. And come on now. Now, take the foam roller. Let's take it, bring it to the back of the body. Now, this is unique, okay? So, I want you to think about your chest and your back. The foam roller, if you see the back, is down this part of my body. What I want you to do is I want you to pinch your shoulder blades together. You're going to feel your chest come up. Your chest comes up. Now, just relax your chest. Draw it in and your back will get rounded. Chest comes up as we squeeze our, our shoulder blades together, our scapula, and then relax at the back round. Good, press back, good. Now we still need breathing, okay? Try not to breathe shallowly, shallow. Inhale, big inhale, or big exhale, as long as you're breathing. Again, there's no specific pattern, okay? We just wanna be able to do that. Good, good, good. open. And close. I love the next things we're going to be doing. These are kind of some of my favorite things to do to really get the upper body loose using the foam roller. Good. Again, pinch the shoulder blades down and back and then totally relax. Good. So your chest comes up and then the other part, when you relax, your back is pushed back. One more chest up. Good. And then relax that back. Good. Now turning sideways. I'm going to take my arms, I'm going to lift them from my body as high as they can comfortably go, and then bring them back down. Inhale. So, I did say no pattern, but for me, lifting my arms up and breathing out just seems more natural. Again, that's for me, that's more natural. I want you to find your natural path as you're doing these things with me, what moves and what's natural for you. Good, that's it. Now, you will notice that the more you breathe, sometimes you may even sneak a yawn in there. It's okay. <laughs> Your body getting a lot of oxygen it missed throughout the day. One more arms up. And so again, I'm going to turn sideways. I'm going to go all the way forward, lift my arms up. And then come back up. And I love doing it because if you're in the room with me, when I do it, you can hear my upper back crack. And then come all the way back up. Good, inhale. And come all the way back up. Inhale. Inhale. And back up. Good. Let's go forward gently, driving those arms up as comfortably and as carefully as we can, and then standing right back up tall. Great job. Let's do another one. And these are really deliberate and calculated movements. So you really, really want to dive into the movement, feel what's going on, be alert, be aware, tune into your body. So the movement's real important. I love the movement, but I actually have to be into what this movement is going on. Okay, that was your last one. If you want to pop one more in, it's fine. 
Good. Once you're done, come up. Put the foam roller in the pits of your arms. Just like that. So you can feel it in the small of your back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step forward with my right leg. I'm going to bring my chest down and come back up. And let me turn laterally so you can step here, chest down, and come back up. And switch legs forward, chest down, and come all the way back up. Let's switch, step forward, chest down, come all the way back up. Let's do that again, chest down. And come back up. Good. Step forward gently. Chest comes down. Bring it back up. Let's do that again. Chest down. And back up. Good. Let's do it again. Chest down. And back up. Good. Let's do one more in the right leg. Or your left. Whichever you start out with. And the opposite leg. Good, come back up. Let's take the foam roller from our arms. Let's place it on the floor. Let's pull it back to our body. Shoulders are back, press in, nice. So it's on a tilt. I'm gonna show you sideways. So you sit on a tilt and both my hands are on the top of the foam roller. I'm going to push forward, flatten my back and use the arms on this, guys. Push the arms forward. Sit the hips all the way back. Make your back long and flat. Pull yourself up. Good, excellent. Love this one. Great for the back. And pull yourself up tall. Good. Hips go back. Now, really stretching out. You should feel that in the shoulders, arms. You may feel it in your hamstrings and glutes. Great. And come back up. Let's do that again. And come back up. And let's do that again. Right. And come back up. Good. Excellent. And lean back a little bit now. And now push forward. Press your hand into the foam roller. Foam roller. Really extend. Come back up. Stretch back. Good. Be careful that lower back. Everybody knows what their strengths and weaknesses are, even before you do this video. So, do it till you feel comfortable, you feel something positive happening to your body. Something really positive, something really good is happening to your body. Okay, good, I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling a good thing happening. One more time for me. Now, here's what I'm going to use with the foam roller. We come back up, we're up tall. Now, I want to get the squats involved, okay? So good, you got that last one in, good. So up tall, and I want you to think of nice and wide, arms here, and I just want you to sit down. Don't drop your gaze at the screen, okay? So you don't want to look down, and you want to come up. Your knees may go out right or left, or they may go forward, but your hips are dropping down, your glute, your butt button is going down and coming back up. Good, excellent. And driving back up. Good, and down. And come back up. Good, excellent. And down. And drive back up. And down. And come back up. And come back up. Good, down. Drive back up. Let's do that again, down. And come back up. Let's sit down. And drive back up. I'm gonna have us do one more. Good. Come back up. Now, I want you to free your right hand. It's my left hand, but you're facing me. Free your right hand, okay? Now, I want you to think your right hand goes back like this. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna open up that right arm up. And there's a slight rotation in my legs. Good, meaning that I'm turning forward. And I'm allowing the left arm to push forward as I rotate and I look up, or keep your gaze neutral. Push forward, rotate. 
Nice. Let's do it again. Come back up. Let's do that again. All right, that was the last one. Come back up. Get your other hand ready. Foam roller in. Let's go into that squat. And come up gently. Remember, this may be a little tight in that area of the shoulders. They're always super duper tight. So this is going in. And now don't be afraid to rotate that right side out to your left side. Good. Rotate that leg in. Turn that leg in. It's okay. Turn that hip in for that nice, easy rotation. Let's do that again. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So I'm still squatting. I still want you to squat. I want you to do one more, one more. And come back up. Good. And so let's take the foam roll. Let's put it to the right side of our body. Good. I love this lift for our inner thigh. So I'll pull that leg up in, make it an angle. Good. Don't put it on top of the knee. So we're not putting it on top of the knee. We're just lifting it up almost as if we're doing a side soccer kick. Yes. And then we stretch it back down. Good. I'm going to take my free hand, put it on my waist or my hip, and back down. Lift up. And bring it back down. That's it. So we can feel that stretch going in here one more time. Up. Down. Good job. This is one of my favorite stretches coming up. Last one. Point to this leg. Take this leg behind you. Reach up and over. Good. Nice. Good. Try not to lean too much on the foam roller. It's not going to hold you up. So really, we're just using it to balance us. We're not using it to support us. We push our arms away. We reach over. And then we come back. Good. Excellent. <clears throat> So you feel a little bit of, if I was in a bar class, B-A-R, R, I think, L-R-E, bar class, I would be doing it like this. I'd be have a bar. And one more over. Good, bring it back. Now let's go over to the other side. Good, excellent. And let's take the inner leg and let's lift it up and bring it back down. Let's lift it up. Bring it back down. We have one more, and let's lift it up. Beautiful. Bring it back down. Up nice and tall. Good. We're going to take the right leg back and reach over. Push out. Good. Come back up tall. Good. Let's do that again. And gently, we're not getting support from the foam roller. We are pushing it away from our body and bringing it back in. But we're not using it to support ourselves. Good. And push away, reach. And push back. Good. Let's do that again. And do that again. Good. Reach up. Good. That was our last one here. Come back. Last one. Good. Now, I like abductors. Add abductors are taking a leg from the body. So I'm going to place you behind your foam roller. Your feet are going to be here. And I want you to shift weight. Lift that leg away. Not going for height. Good. We're doing for lengthen, lengthen out, back in, lengthen again, bring it 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 back in, take it out, bring it back in. I love a double movement. We're going to do two full rounds. I'm not trying to achieve great sweat. I'm just stretching, bring it back in. And some of you just are doing that little lift. Some of you may go to that full extension and height, but you're shifting your weight. Good. And we inhale. Now, I will call out. I said it doesn't matter. It does on this one. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. 
Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale down. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Good. Exhale down. One more. One. Doesn't matter where you stop. One more. You don't have to do it exactly the way I do it. Good. Excellent. Now, this is going to be a little unique, okay? I want to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to put the foam roller because I have those shoes on on the top of my foot, okay? Put the foam roller on top of my right foot. So, it should be on your right foot, right hand down, right and right foot, stack both feet together, okay? Now, let me do one, and then you'll say, oh, I see what you're doing. I'm going to step forward, lift that leg up, and come back. Step forward. It may slip off your foot, that's okay. Good, push down and come back. Gently going for more and more distance. Then coming back up. Good, step forward. Then come back up, good. Step forward. And then come back, good, excellent. Step forward. Good. And back. Good. Let's do one more. Step forward. Gently lift up, 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 and come back. Let's switch. Other side. Good, up tall, good, nice. Now step forward, lift up. Now, everybody's gonna have a better leg. That's just the way it is. One leg gonna be super duper better than the other leg. Good, and lift up. Great, do it again. And then back up gently, find that balance. This is a really big, challenging one for most people that I do this with. It's, it's, so if you're finding it hard, it is hard, okay? Let's not be surprised, like, oh my gosh, this is harder than I realized the balance. Good, make it quick and short, push back, and come back up. Good, try not to hang or linger there. Good, and back, good, excellent. Good, step. Let's do one more. Good, let's grab the foam roller here, guys. We're coming to our clothes. Good, that's my clothes. Let's do something called Zen Switch. So you're just gonna swing and manipulate that spine. Again, these are a series of videos. There's so much more to do with the foam roller. It's very exciting, all the things you can do with the foam roller. Hip, tip, toes, upper body, lower body, and just turn the shoulders ever so gingerly. Good, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. Good. And again, try not to turn the head. Just use your shoulders. Push with your right hand. Push with your left hand. Push with your right hand. Trying to get nice, comfortable. And we're swinging the foam roller. Swing it back and swing. Good. Thus becoming Zen Swift. Good. Excellent. I always say this is great for the spine. Okay? Really great for the spine. So I do a lot of spine articulation because really want my spine to be better than any other part of my body. And again, and again, and again. One more time, and one. Now I want you to turn your whole body. 
lift that ball of the foot up and rotate. Just rotate the whole half of the body. Good. And remember, the head does not leave the movement. The head stays exactly attached to the shoulders. Do not detach the head from the shoulders. Okay? Good job. You guys are doing fabulous. I'm not even near at your own homes, and I know you're doing well. And the cool thing about this is you get to play this the video over and over again. You'll know the moves, and you'll be able to go deeper into them. You'll be able to add breathing. And again, it is about repetition. Repetition, doing it again and again to make your body feel that much better. Good. One more. And one, one more salutation of goodbye. Inhale up. And exhale down. And one last time. Inhale up. And exhale back down. Good. Let's put the phone order down. Good job. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to like, share, and pass on this video. I'd like to say that it has been, for me, a plum-pleasing pleasure to present to you. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.